Hello friends, I am Nayashik from blogtoot.com and today in this video, I'll teach you how to create a social networking or a community website with WordPress. Now this website that we are going to create has almost all the features that a social networking or a community website must have. Like you can create an account on this website, a person can send and accept friend request, people can direct message each other, they can create a group and invite friends to join the group, upload images and files, update status etc. So everything can be done in this website. Now anyone can create this website, there is no qualification or any prior coding knowledge required to create this website. In fact a 9 year old kid can follow these steps and create this website. And obviously because it's 2018 everything is mobile friendly and tablet friendly. So let's see the demo website that we will be creating in this video. So this is the website that we will be creating in this video. Because I am logged in as you can see I can see this page. But let me log out to this page and let's see what happens when we are not log, uh, logged in or registered with the website. What happens when we are new to this website? What page do we see? So as you can see as soon as I logged out I will see this page and whatever page I try to visit okay I'll see the exact same page okay. Whatever page I try to visit I try to visit the groups page members page whatever I try to see. I will not see anything I will be redirected to this page every single time. So here either I have to log into the website or if I am new I have to register and sign up from here ok. So this is the page that a new user will see and obviously if you want uh, a new user to come and visit the whole website you can have that but I have selected this one I have selected to make my website private and so that only the person who has registered can see the content. So it's all up to you if you want you can make your website public so that even if a person is not registered they can see the complete website it's all up to you. So we have to log in so let's log in. Now as you can see when I logged in I am redirected to this page and obviously you can change the redirection. If you want a person to go to some different page after login you can do that it's all up to you. So this is the demo website that we'll be creating in this video as you can see at the top we have our header. At the left hand side you have the logo obviously you can change this you can put in your own logo. Then we have this hamburger icon when you click on this the side menu disappears. So there is basically two style one is this one without the sidebar and other one with the sidebar. So you can select any style that you want. After that we have a big search bar so that a person can search for groups, members, public whatever they want to search over here. Then at the right hand side we have some more icons. This is a icon for menu. You can create a menu over here. A cart icon. Then we have notification icon. Let's open this. Let's see what we have. So as you can see someone sent me a private message and I have a new friend request from a person. And here as you can see uh, when I hover this it says that you have some unread messages. So, so I can click on that I, and I can read those messages. Then after that I have this icon as you can see my profile picture is displayed over here. When I click on this I get some more links. Now, now I can see the activity page, the profile page, notifications, messages, friends, groups, all these things. Okay. So this was our header. After this we have this sidebar as you can see and obviously if you want you can disable the sidebar. If you want you can change all the options. Now as you can see there are so many options like dashboard, activity, groups. It's all up to you. You, you can change these, uh, these options. You can have your own options over here. Then this is the content that we have at the center. Welcome to whatever your website name is. A short description. The recent members or popular members. It's all up to you. Then after that we have some different widgets uh, displayed over here like featured group, upcoming birthdays, uh, featured members so you can see upcoming birthdays uh, of people or of your friend ok. Then we can create polls, we can uh, type in different post uh, and blog post. Then we also have upcoming events so that we can create different events and it will display over here. So this was the dashboard page now let's see how a single user profile page will look like. Ok guys so as you can see this is how the single profile page will look like as you can see now I am on my profile you can see my name over here. My username uh, last time I was active you can see the cover photo you can change the profile picture cover photo your name username everything you want ok. Then we have some more links over here like your profile uh, we have two notification one uh, of five friend 
one unread message, one group, you can see all those things. In the center, we have all this activity like I and this person are now friends four days ago. So uh, she accepted my friend request four days ago and all those things you can see, you can upload images, different files and so on. And you can change the uh, privacy. Like if you want, you can make it, you know, public. If you want, you can make it private. If you want, you can make it hidden. It's all up to you. Then the right hand side, we have some widgets. You can display any widget over here. That's so I have just displayed one, but there could be many more uh, widgets displayed over here. At present, I have my friends displayed over here. So it's all up to you. You can change this setting. You can have your own settings. Okay. Now let me click on notifications to see the notifications. Okay. So it is loading. Now, as you can see, someone sent me a friend request and I have a private message. So when I click on this notification, I will be redirected to this message. So this person sent me a private message. Okay. So around five, uh, five hours ago. So this is the message. Now I can reply uh, and all those things, the basic thing that happens in any website. So this is how a page, a profile page would look like. Now let's see how the activity page would look like. All right, guys. So this is the activity page. You can set this page as the home page. You can set any page as the home page. Okay. So we have uh, this thing over here. You can upload photo. You can update your status. You can cancel this. You can see uh, the activity by all member activity by your friends activity activity in the groups that you are uh, enrolled in. Or if anyone has mentioned you by your username, you can see, see, uh, see all those things over here. Then the right hand side, we have the featured group. Now there is no group displaying over here. Featured member, we can display featured member and featured group over here. Then we have the popular members over here. So there are many different pages that we can see the uh, events page, how our event will look like, how a post will look like. Okay, so like, uh, like as you can see, we have the group. When you click on this group, you will see all the groups. For example, at present, there is only one group created over here. When you click on this, you can see the uh, all these groups. Okay, for example, what is the type of group and uh, description about the group? Who are the members? You can invite your friends to join the group. Okay, as you can see, when you click on this invite, you can invite your friends to join the group. You can post something in this group. You can do a lot of things. If you are the admin, you can change the cover and everything. Okay. So this is basically the demo website or uh, the website that we'll be creating in this video. I don't want to go into detail showing you all the different pages, all the different options. Now we get a better idea about how is the website that you're going to create is going or is going to look. So if you guys like the demo website, if you want to create this website that you see on your screen, then I would request you to stay tuned. All right, guys. So to create any kind of website, we need two basic things, a domain name and a hosting account. And by the way, if you already have a domain name and hosting account, you can see in the video description below, you will see the timeline. You can skip this section and you can proceed from where I have started creating the website. So it's all up to you. Or if you want a better option from uh, a better option to choose the domain name and hosting account, if you want a better hosting company, faster performing uh, hosting company, then you can continue watching this video. I'll recommend you and I would highly suggest you to watch the complete video. Don't skip any section. And I really want to say you that it will be worth it. Your time will be worth it. You will learn something new. You will learn a lot of things over here. Okay. So as I said you earlier, we need two basic things to create a website, a domain name and a hosting account. Now a domain name is nothing but the URL of your website. Okay. The thing that person will type in to get to your website. For example, facebook.com, youtube.com, all these things are different domain names. Whenever you want to go to YouTube, you simply type in youtube.com and you are landed on the YouTube. Okay. So that is basically a domain name and a hosting is nothing but a place uh, or a computer or a hard drive wherein all the data of your website is saved and that computer is running 24 seven. Now that is because anyone who visits your website from any part of the world at any time, they can see the website running. Okay. So whenever someone comes to your website from any part of the world at any particular time, they can see your website live. Now, if you have a domain name, but don't have hosting, then when the person comes to your website, they will see a blank page because there's no data present over here. So as you can see all these images, all these different persons, all these polls, these events and all those things, everything is saved in that hosting. Now there are many different companies out there in the market that do provide domain and hosting. 
and you have to be very careful in selecting this because this is going to be uh, with you for a very long time your domain and hosting is going to stay with you for a long time and also it will uh, you know require some money so you're investing some money so i would highly recommend you to do some research and uh, find the better option so i have already done a lot of research on this one there are many different companies as i said you earlier i'm also in this business for a very long time so i have seen that this there is a very good company that provide the best performing hosting account the fastest hosting account okay the most secure hosting account has the best uptime and has a very good customer service so let me show you how you can get that so open a new tab and type in blogtocom slash tmd now this link is also given in the video description below so you can simply click on that link and you will be redirected to this page okay guys so this is the cloud hosting there are many different types of hosting like shared hosting cloud hosting vps reseller dedicated servers and so on now i highly recommend anyone using cloud hosting because i think in the budget this is the perfect hosting that you can get the shared hosting also cost very much similar so instead of getting a shared hosting you should get a better option that is a cloud hosting cloud hosting is way more better way more secure and way more better in terms of performance than the regular shared hosting so you you will be spending just a dollar more per month so instead of spending three dollars per month you'll have to spend four or five dollars per month but you will get a lot of things the that you don't get in shared hosting so i would recommend you to go with cloud hosting but if your budget is really very tight and if you want to start very small then you can go with shared hosting so what you can do if you want to go with shared hosting you'll see this link at the top web hosting you can open this link in a new tab now as you can see this is the shared hosting and the shared hosting of tmd is way more better and faster than the shared hosting of any company available in the market because these guys offer ssd space even in shared hosting okay now you don't really find the ssd space i will explain you about ssds and those things later on in this video but these guys are really providing all the offers so as you can see you can start with 295 per month for shared hosting and if you want to start with cloud hosting you will have to spend around six dollars per month so you can select according to your budget if you can uh, if you're willing to spend around six dollars per month then let me explain you why you should select this company why you should select TMD and why you should select cloud hosting and why you should not select any other company okay and why do I recommend this over any other cloud hosting or uh, shared hosting providers okay so let's see the features that these guys provide that really is awesome so if you see at the bottom you'll see all the features so first two features are six cpu cores that is six core of cpu and six gb of ddr4 ram so just a few moments ago i have explained you that a hosting is nothing but a computer or a hard drive which is running 24 7 all your website data is saved in that computer so the computer which these guys are using is really really awesome it's a robust computer it has got a six core cpu that is a really powerful cpu and they are using a 6 gb of ddr4 ram okay so the computer which these guys are using is really fast really awesome really robust then the next feature is unlimited bandwidth now bandwidth means the amount of data that you can transfer from your website so you can transfer unlimited amount of data from, uh, data from your website which means that you can download unlimited amount of data from your website and you can also upload unlimited amount of data uh, you know on your website so that is a really cool feature then we have ssd space now this is the most important feature over here most of the companies out there in the market provide you with the regular hdd hosting and they don't say that what kind of server are they using and this company is using the ssd space there are very few companies that use the ssd space and tmd is among one of them so if you don't know the difference between the regular hdd and ssd space you can simply go to google and type in ssd versus sdd web hosting okay so hdd versus ssd web hosting you can type it you will see there are so many different uh, articles written you can read uh, all of these you, you will get a better idea 
about how this works and what are the different things that work over here. If you want, you can simply click on images and you can open the first result. You'll get all those details in graphical form, which is a better option. So if you see over here, this orange bar is HDD and this green bar is SSD. Now there are three different criteria over here. First one is speed, then we have IOPS and latency. So first one is speed and at the bottom it says higher is better. Now you can see the difference is really phenomenal. Now here SSD is way slower and SSD is way faster than the regular HDD. So you can see the difference in terms of speed. The second option is IOPS and again it says higher is better. And here this time as you can see the difference is around 100 times. So SSD is around 100 times better than the regular HDD in terms of IOPS. Then we have the latency and this time it says lower is better. And again you can see the difference is around 100 times. So you know uh, that SSD is way more better. There is actually no comparison between HDD and SSD. So you just have to go with SSDs. Now not only that they provide SSD space, they provide unlimited SSD space which is another amazing thing. You can also host unlimited amount of website in this hosting plan which means that suppose today you're creating this social networking website. Tomorrow you might, to, you might need to create an e-commerce or a different kind of website. So tomorrow again you don't have to purchase a new hosting plan. You can host all those different websites into one single hosting plan. So you don't have to purchase this hosting plan again. You can host any amount of websites in one single hosting plan. Then after that we get a free domain when you sign up with any one of these plans. We also get premium support. The support of these guys is really amazing. You get a free cPanel, NG, INX web server. You also get wildcard SSL. Now if you go to my demo website, you'll see the secure socket at the top. Now this says that this connection is secure, this website is secure and here if you see uh, it says your information for example password or credit card details is private when it is sent to this website. So it is very important to have an SSL certificate which says that this website is a secure website, it's a good website, you can trust this website and if you don't have SSL certificate it will say not secure at the top. You might have seen few uh, websites it says not secure and you should not provide any crucial information to this website. So that is not a good idea. So we need SSL certificates. Okay. Now not only that you get SSL certificate we are getting wildcard SSL certificates which means that you can install SSL certificates on unlimited number of domains and subdomains which is really awesome. Now you also get optimum cache that will improve the performance and speed of your website. We get memory cache instance of 256 MB performance is three times better than these two plans. Okay, you also get a 60 day money back guarantee. Now you can select any one of these plans if you're creating your first website and you know that you're not going to need another website for five, six months for now then you can start with starter cloud because in starter cloud you can host only one website which means that tomorrow if you need to create a new website you will either have to purchase a new plan or you will have to upgrade your starter cloud to a business or an enterprise cloud so you can select any option that you want you can select the business cloud or in or the enterprise cloud so whatever you're selecting simply click on this get started button now when you do so you will get on this page now here you have to enter the domain name that you want for free so you can just type in your domain name over here okay it's you can type anything that you want you can type in your domain name you can select the domain name extension whether you want .com .net .org if you're creating this website for a specific country you can select country specific uh, domain names or domain name extension for example .in for India dot uk for united kingdoms dot cn for canada and so on but for most of you guys i would recommend you to stay with and stick with dot com so you can select any one that you like so once you enter your domain name and select the domain name extension simply click on proceed now here you have to enter your basic information about yourself for example your first name last name your email address phone number state country and all those things 
then after that you will have to enter your payment information for example if you want to make payment through credit card or debit card you can select the type of card that you have you can enter the card number expiry date and CVV number over here you can also pay with PayPal but I would recommend you to pay with credit card or debit card that is a better option now we have some important options over here first is that you have to choose your data center location now you'll see there is a drop down there are so many different options you will have to select the one which says nearest to you so for example Singapore says nearest to you so I'll select Singapore then we have period by default 12 months is selected I also recommend you to select the 12 month plan that is the best plan if you select the one month plan you will have to pay seven to eight dollars extra per month so that is not recommended so I would recommend you to stay with the default plan which is the 12 month plan then you don't have to take mark any one of this by default one option is automatically tick mark which is domain privacy now if you if you want this you will have to pay ten dollars extra per year but I think this is worth it because it will protect your identity no one will be able to see who is the person who has registered the website no one will be able to see your address your phone number your name anything okay so I think it is worth it if you don't want this you can untick this and you can save ten dollars per year it's all up to you then at the bottom we have promo code here you have to enter Nayar 7 N -A -Y -A -R and numeric 7 now this code is also given in the video description below you can copy that and paste it over here and click on apply now as you can see it says this promo code gives you 7% off this purchase which means that you are getting the 7% discount on your purchase and 7% is the highest discount that TMD offers on cloud hostings so you are getting the highest discount possible so once you are done with all these steps simply click on over here tick mark over here and click on checkout once you click on that checkout button you will receive a mail from TMD hosting now that mail would look something like this it has all your important information like your FTP C panel username password your server IP name servers and all those things so I would recommend you to save this information somewhere if you want you can take a printout or you can forward this mail to different email addresses if you own multiple email addresses you can forward them to those different email addresses okay so it's all up to you just make sure you have all this information safe and secure now here at the bottom you'll see a link which says control panel link open this link in a new tab and you have to copy your username and password from here so copy it from here paste it over here and click on login all right guys so this is our C panel now you have to go at the bottom you will see Softaculous app installer click on that now the first option is WordPress so you can click on WordPress because now it's time to install WordPress on our website so click on install now here you have to select your protocol and make sure you have here as you can see it says if your site has SSL then please choose HTTPS protocol okay so you have to select the one which uh, has the extension S okay so select either the third one or the fourth one with HTTPS now after that you have to choose the domain on which you want to install WordPress okay so I am selecting my domain over here now if you see this thing you will see uh, in directory you will see in this field WP is already typed in or written in so you can simply delete this and make sure this field is empty then you have to uh, change your site settings your site name and description so in your site name either you can put in your website name or the name of your company it's all up to you now I am putting thrive tutorial and in the site description you can put in a very short description about your website or your company or you can also put in the tagline of your company so it's all up to you I am putting thrive tutorial by Nayar Sheikh then we have admin account information so from here you have to change your username and password so let's do that let's change the username let's also change the password let's change it from here and also make sure to change the admin email address put in your own email address over here then go at the bottom and click on install okay so as you can see WordPress is getting installed on your website it will take few seconds you can wait so as you can see it just took few seconds now you'll get two different links over here 
the first one is your website link and the second one is the dashboard or the admin link okay so let's open both the links so this is how your website is looking at present and this is your dashboard okay so whenever you come want to come to your website or your dashboard page what you can do you can type in your domain name then put in forward slash wp hyphen admin okay so this is where what you have to type after your domain name whenever you want to come to your dashboard page now this is a very important page because this is the place from where you will be controlling your entire website whatever you want to do for example if you want to create a new page new post new person if you want to change the style the design of your page everything will be done from here now as you can see there are so many different options over here first of all if you see the design is looking terrible the website is looking really bad and we have to create a website which looks something like this okay so we have to create a decent and a beautiful website but this one is looking terrible so what we have to do first of all we have to change the appearance and the design of the website so whenever you want to change the appearance or the design of the website you simply click on appearance from the left hand side now you will see there are three different themes that are automatically installed which are already installed over here now a theme is basically what the design of the website is okay for example by default 2017 theme is installed and as you can see the thumbnail this this website looks exactly like the thumbnail which you see over here now if you want a website like this or like this you can install these themes okay so basically when you install a new theme you basically change the design of your website now we don't need any one of these themes so we can simply delete those okay so let's delete it so that we have uh, uh, don't have anything uh, which we don't need uh, acquiring some extra space now we need to install a theme that will change the design of this boring website and make it something like this okay now before installing a theme if you see there is one problem at present now when the when at the left hand side you will see media when you hover over media and click on add new you will see over here it says maximum upload file size is 2 mb so now at present you can upload any file that is up to 2 MB and if the file size exceeds 2 MB you cannot upload it on your website. Now that is the problem because the file that we have to upload is more than 2 MB. So we have to do something over here. We have to increase this limit. Okay. This is the default limit of WordPress. We'll have to increase this. So it is very easy to do what you have to do you have to open filezilla and if you don't know how to set up filezilla you can watch there is a video on my uh, youtube channel you can watch that you or if you don't find that video i'll try to give a link in the video description below but if you don't find that link if i forget to put that link then what you can do you can go to youtube type in naya shake filezilla okay or let me type in this okay so you, you type in naya shake filezilla you'll see the top video okay how to use uh, filezilla ftp client to connect and upload uh, to a website whatever it is okay so this is what the this is what the video is watch this video you uh, in very simple uh, steps i have explained how to set up filezilla okay now when you open filezilla you will see different folders over here now you have to find the folder with your website name for example my website name is thrive2.nayashik.com so I'll have to find a folder by that name. So let us see here it is thrive2.nayashik.com. Let me open this folder. Now here in this folder, we have a file called .htaccess. Now I have to drag this file on my desktop. So first I'll select my desktop from here. So I have my desktop selected. Now I'll simply drag this file on my desktop. Let's see, let's do that. Now as you can see, we have the file on my desktop. Now we have to go to blogdude.com or I'll what I'll do is I'll give a direct link to the post that I'm talking about. But if you don't find that you can search for that post over here. Let us go to page two. Okay, so this is the post I'm talking about. So open this post. Now here if you see uh, this is the, if you see at the bottom there are five lines of codes five or six lines of code you can simply copy it from here. Now you can open that file that you simply and just download it on your desktop. You, you can open this file. Now if you're not able to open this file, uh, you can simply download a new software which is called Sublime Text. 
it is a free software you can download that once you download that you will be able to open this file okay so i have downloaded that and i have opened this file now as you can see i have some uh, this is how the page would look like now you have to paste in the code that you just copied from my website okay so as you can see the code is pasted over here now once you do so simply press ctrl s to save the file now once you save this file now again we have to drag this file on the website folder so let me show you how you can do that so again open filezilla now you'll see this folder this file showing up on your desktop now let's first refresh this desktop section so once you do so you can again uh, drag this folder back to your website uh, drag this file back to your website folder let's do that now it will ask you to overwrite it so you can select overwrite and click on ok so it says transfer finished now let's come back to this page again earlier it was saying 2 MB let's refresh it let's see what happens now as you can see it says 64 MB so now we can upload any file up to 64 MB so let's do that first of all we'll have to download the theme that we want to install to change the style of this theme okay to change the style of this website into something amazing like this so if you want to download that theme simply open a new tab and type in blogtoot.com slash thrive now this link is also given in the video description below you can simply click on that link you will be redirected to this page so this is the theme that we have to download as you can see it has got around 3005 more than 3500 sales the rating is also amazing you can see all these uh, different features from here okay you can uh, go through this page so this is the theme that we have to download okay so you can simply click on buy theme when you purchase this theme you will get a file uh, you will uh, download a folder let me show you how that file looks like so this is how the file would look like okay the name of the file would be something like this this is a zip file so what you have to do you have to right click over here and you have to extract files basically you have to unzip this file so when you unzip this file you will get a folder by the same name as you can see the name of the file and the folder is same now open this folder open this file this folder again thrive 3.0 then we have four more folders documentation freebies licensing wordpress themes we need the theme so we'll click on wordpress themes and select this one thrive new okay however it is pronounced thrive new the recommended folder open this one now here you have two different fold folders okay so open the first one and this is the folder you'll see this folder i think you will not see this file so let me delete this file this is how it will look now this is the folder that we have to upload on the website so you cannot upload a folder you have to make it a file so what we do is we convert this folder into a zip file so right click over here add to archive convert this into a zip click on ok so we have this zip file now this is the file that we have to upload on our website so come back to your website now from the left hand side click on appearances click on add new click on upload theme and let's drag this file over here let's bring this file drag it over here now click on install now okay guys so the theme is successfully installed now it's time to activate the theme so click on activate okay guys so this, this theme is successfully installed and activated now it's time to install some more plugins okay so all these plugins come uh, with the theme so you don't have to purchase anything now this is the only thing that you have to purchase so now under appearances you will see a new link called setup wizard click on that link now you'll see three different options uh, we have to use the first option intranet extranet so select this option and click on install plugins now you'll see this page now you, you don't have to install everything one by one you can simply tick mark over here it will select everything now from the bulk action select install and click on apply okay guys so as you can see all the plugins are successfully installed so you can click on this link at the bottom return to required plugin installer now it's time to activate all the installed themes so again you will have to do the same thing tick mark over here and from the bulk action select activate and click on apply 
So again, uh, all the plugins are going to act, get activated one by one. Now there is a problem or uh, there is not a problem, but most of the time it will happen that when you have this slider revolution plugin, always activating the pl plugin click uh, creates some problem. For example, as you can see, we have activated it and it is still loading and it will just keep on loading forever and ever. Okay, so there is a problem with the, this plugin. This is an awesome plugin, no doubt, but just activating the pl plugin creates some problem. I don't know why. So it's not a problem. I'll show you how you can fix this. Okay, so let this page load. What we can do, you can open this plugin page in a new tab. Okay, so as you can see, when you do so, you'll get something like this. So you can simply click on skip. Okay, so click on plugins again. So you will see that almost all the plugins are installed and activated uh, just before the slider revolution thing. That is what I uh, said you. So again, you can do the do this from here. Tick mark over here, bulk action and select activate. Click on apply. Now this will do it, I think. So let's see. So as you can see, everything is uh, activated. So we can cu cut that page now. Now when you do so, you will be redirected to some different page. First of all, we'll have to get rid of all these different notices. So let's cancel all these things. Now click on dashboard, come to your dashboard. Now you'll see there are so many new options at the left hand side. Okay, this is because of all the plugins that we have just downloaded. Okay, now let's come to this website that we have uh, of our website. Let's refresh it. Now, as you can see, it has already started looking uh, like the demo website. It has started looking really amazing. You get the basic things, you get the basic structure. Now we just need to upload all the content. The structure is ready with us. We just have to upload all the content. So if you have seen in the demo website that first we need to create few pages, the dashboard page, which is this page the, that you see, this is the dashboard page. Then we have to cre uh, create a new page, which is account sign in page. So I have explained you and shown you in the demo website when we come to this website if you are not registered we get a different sign in page so let's cre uh, create these two pages so come back to your dashboard from the left hand side hover pages and click on add new first let's uh, let's create account sign in page and obviously you can name it anything i am naming it account sign in you can simply name it sign in or whatever you like okay so put in the title and click on publish now let's view this page in a new tab. Let's see how this page looks. So let's, as you can see, this is how the page is looking. Now our account sign in page looks totally different. Let me show you. Let me open this page in a new incognito window so that we can see everything properly. Okay. So this is how our account sign in page looks the demo website. So we'll have to do a lot of change. We'll have to get rid of that sidebar that we have. We'll have to uh, make the background color black. Okay, so let's do that. And we also need this form at the center. So let's see how we can do that. So come over here and first we'll have to get rid of this sidebar. So what you can do, you can scroll down. You'll see this thing page layout, select this and select full content. Then go at the top and select under template, select canvas and click on update. Now again, come back to this page. Let's refresh it. Now, as you can see that sidebar is gone. We now have a blank page. Okay. Now let's see what we have next. After that, we have to install. We have to get this form over here. So you don't have to create this form. You simply have to copy and paste something. So let me show you how you can do that. Now, if you see at the left hand side, you will see this option settings. So how are settings? You will see subway option. Open this subway option in a new tab. And here you will see this short code. Okay. Copy this short code from here. Subway login with this square bracket. So copy it from here. Come over here. Click on back end editor. Click on add element. Now select this text block and delete everything and paste in this short code. Click on save changes. Now click on update. Again, come back to this page. Let's refresh it. As you can see, it is saying you are currently logged in. Now that is because it has detected that we are logged in. So we are not getting that login page because we don't need to do that. So let me copy this page. Let me open this page in a new incognito window. Let's see what happens. Okay. Here we can see the page because here we are not logged in, but we have to do some more changes. Uh, if you want, you can add some text at the top. 
we have to add some gap at left and right as you can see here we have some gap at left and right and this form is at the center and also the background color is black so let's do those things come back over here go at this and here you have to hover this and select this one 1 by 4 plus half plus 1 by 4 select this now drag this text block and make, bring it under the center one now this what this will do is it will give this 1 by 4 section from both the sides and it will make it blank because we don't have anything inside that so these two sections will be blank and we will get a gap from both the sides now if you want to add some text at top so what you can do you can click on this pencil button and you can add any text okay so let me type in welcome to thrive okay let me select this let me bring it in the center let's uh, increase this size to heading one okay and let's change the color to white so we can select this click on toggle toolbar and we'll have this text color select text color select white click on save changes okay and also we have to make the background color black so what we can do we can select this pencil button from here under the row settings go to design and select this background color select black or red or whatever color you like if you want to add a image in the background you can select this image you can upload the image and you'll see a image in the background instead of that black color okay so you have all these options now again come back to this general option and tick mark this thing full height row okay and click on save changes click on update now again come back to this page let's refresh it okay now as you can see we have the text we have the form in the middle we have some gap from left and right okay so this page is done now let's create this page the dashboard page okay so again come back over here now click on add new to add a new page again you can give it any title so i am giving it a title of dashboard okay now instead of uh, now under the template select this one dashboard with there is a template already over here so select this template click on publish okay let me call cut this page now let's open this page let it load first okay now let's open this page in a new tab let's see how it looks okay so this is how it is looking so we have the dashboard page and we have the account sign in page now come back to this setting this subway setting and which is under settings so you under settings you will see subway when you click on this you will see this page let me show you this okay so this is the page first of all we have to select the login page and we have to select the page that which that we have just created so select this and select the page that we have just created which is this one account sign in so select it now go at the bottom and you will see redirect type so after the person logs in or signs into your website what is the page that you want them to redirect to so we will select custom page and we'll select the dashboard page okay so after the person logs in to our website or signs into our website they should be redirected to this page so select this click on save changes okay now again go back to this page okay let's refresh this page okay as you can see there is no change now this is the page the person will see for the first time when they come to this website now if you see over here there is only one option available which is account sign in so i the person just has one option available that is to sign in to the website but what if the person has not signed in if what if the person has not registered to the website first they need to register to the website so they should get a new option to sign up but we don't see that option over here if you see the demo website we have that option over here sign up option so first we'll have to enable sign up we'll have to enable registration okay so come back to your dashboard by default anyone just cannot register to any website any wordpress website we have to enable that so it is very easy just click on these general settings uh, under setting you'll see general option click on that now here you will see this option membership just tick mark this anyone can register and click on save changes so once you do so let's come back to this page let's refresh it now as you can see we have this sign up option now now a person can click on this button they can sign up with the website okay so we'll see these things later on first again come back to your website now let's see let's set up buddypress okay so buddypress is the main plugin that uh, enables that converts your website into a social networking website 
Okay, so under settings, you will see body press, click on that. So this is the page that you will see and you have some more options over here. The first option is extended profile. So whether you want to uh, customize your community with fully editable profile fields. Now these fields will allow your customers or allow your users to describe themselves. Okay. So they can have their bio, they can type in about their self and so on. So yes, we want to enable this feature. The second option is account settings. Whether you want to allow your users to modify their account and notification settings directly from their profiles, which means that whether you want to allow them to modify their name, their, uh, their date of birth or whatever it is, then obviously we do, we want them to, uh, we, we want to enable them to modify their changes. Okay. Then we have this thing, friend connection, tick mark this. Now, whether you want to allow users to connect with each other, they can send friend request, accept friend request. Obviously that this is the most important feature. So we do want to allow it. So tick mark over here. Then we have private messaging also tick mark this thing because we want to allow the users to directly message with each other. They can do private messaging and so on. Now activity stream. Now this is the global personal and you know, you have the activity page. We have seen that in the demo website, you will see all the global activity, any person who is doing anything, your personal activity, your group activity, all those things. So whether you want to see the activity page, yes, we want to see the activity page. Now, whether you want to enable notification now, uh, every time a person will be notified, a member will be notified of any activity related to them. For example, whenever someone sends them a friend request, whenever someone will send them a direct message and so on, do you want them to receive notification? Obviously, yes. Then the next option is user user groups, whether you want to allow your users to create groups and so on. So obviously we want them to uh, enable this thing. Okay. Now you have to enable all these options and click on save settings. Now click on options, which is the second tab. Now, whether you want to show the toolbar for logged out users, you can select yes. Account deletion, whether you want to allow the register member to delete their own account. Yes, we want to enable this then template black a pack don't change it let it be the second one body press new whatever it is then profile setting whether you want to allow the register members to upload their profile picture yes profile syncing enable body press and wordpress profile syncing yes group creation yes enable group creation for all users group photo upload you can yes obviously we want the user to change the group photo and so on uh, allow activity stream commenting on a uh, post and comment. Yes, because we want to allow users to comment on any activity they see. For example, someone has uploaded a photo, a person can comment on that. Okay. Activity auto refresh. Yes. Okay. So simply click on settings, uh, save settings. Everything is fine over here. Now click on pages. Okay. And we should see members page, uh, and you'll see members page over here, activity page, you'll see activity page, user groups, you'll see groups page, and we don't need these two pages. Then under registration, you'll see under register, register page, activate, activate page. Okay. So you can simply save settings. Everything is fine over here. Now let's come back to the page. So this was the dashboard page that we have created. As you can see your website name slash dashboard. Now here, if you see, uh, we are on the dashboard page, but we don't see the slash dashboard. We just see the uh, home page. Okay. But here we see the slash dashboard. And when we click on this, we are redirected to some other page. Okay. So that is a problem. We want to make this page. That is the dashboard page as the home page. So let's see how we can do that. So come back to your dashboard. Now again, under settings, you'll see this reading option. Click on reading and select this one, a static page instead of your latest post, select a static page under the home page, select whatever page you want to make as your home page. So I want to make the dashboard as my home page. Now click on save settings. Now let's refresh this page. Now, as you can see that slash dashboard is gone and we are still on the dashboard page. And when we click on this icon to go to the home page, this is now the home page. Okay. So basic settings are done. Now let's see a demo uh, sign up. Let's go to the website in the incognito window. 
let's refresh it okay now let me do one thing i will do a demo sign up i'll create a new account and we can see how a user can create a new account on your website how they can send friend request accept friend request direct message and all those things okay so the, as you can see when i click on this uh, home button they cannot see because here i am not logged in so i cannot see the home page so that is working i am seeing this page now i need to sign up so let's click on this sign up button username and obviously you can add some more fields i'll show you later on in this video how you can add some more fields over here but these are the default fields so let me put the username as user1 email address let me put in this email address you can put in any email address over here let me check whether it is correct yeah it is correct let us choose a password over here let's re uh, repeat the password okay let's give it a name so i am giving my name okay let's change my name okay so everything is fine just click on complete sign up now as you can see it says you have successfully created your account to begin using the site you need to activate your account via the email we have just sent you to your address so let's go to gmail and let's see whether we have received an activation uh, mail from this website or not so let me open my okay guys so as you can see there are mail uh, that is over here and under update also you'll see this mail so this is the mail that i have just received so let me open this mail and this is the link that we have to uh, click on to activate the account so let me click on this link okay so i'll get this activation key and i'll click on activate okay as you can see it says your account is now active now we can log in let's click on login and let me put in the username which was user1 and the password was this so let me put in the password let's click on login okay as you can see now we are redirected to the dashboard page now let me do all the changes that i want to do suppose a new person now we haven't created any page now let me show you how a person can do the changes okay so they can click on their profile pic like this and they'll see this thing so let me change the profile picture first so I'll click on profile and I will I can change my name and all those things by clicking on this edit button. If I want to change the profile picture, I'll click on this. Now let me upload this file profile picture and all the photos that I have used, all the images that I have used in this video, I am giving that for free to all you guys. So you can see a link in the video description below. You can click on that link and you can download everything for free. Okay. so you'll get all those images for free that you see on your screen okay so let me select this image let me click on open okay now we can select uh, you can crop this image so i want this much click on crop image now this will change as you can see my profile picture is now changed you can also change the cover photo you can simply click on this cover and you can change it okay you can search for some person and send them friend request for example let me search for nayer shake okay let's search for this person as you can see here it is naya shake let me click on add a friend to a, to send a friend request okay so this is how it all happens this is how it all works now let me go back to this page let me refresh it now as you can see i received a notification i have some friend request i can click on this i can accept or reject this so i want to accept this friend request okay so this is how it happens so we have seen how this happens now let's start designing the dashboard page so let us uh, come to the home page this is the home page let's start designing let's see how we can design it this way okay so let me get rid of all these pages now let's come back over here this is the dashboard page now the first thing that we see over here is that we have these two sections we have a simple text then we have this member section and you can see we have some gap from both left and right side okay so we can uh, see how uh, we have to add some gap from left and right then we have to add this text and this members okay so let's see how we can do that come back to this page click on back and editor now first click on add element and select text block because we need to add simple text so select this let me copy this text from here come over here let's paste everything let's select everything make it center align and click on save changes now again we need to add some gap like we did in the sign in page now again so we have to select this thing now let me select the same thing uh, 1 by 4 half plus 1 by 4 
okay and let me drag this thing in the middle but if you see over here here we don't have that much uh, space at left and right we have a very small space at left and right so i need to change this setting so what i'll do is i'll click on custom and this is the setting we have selected one by four plus half plus one by four now i to uh, i need to change this thing so by default you get you can divide this into 12 columns so what do i want to do is i want to leave one by 12 a uh, space at the left hand side and one by 12 at the right hand side okay so what is left is 10 by 12 okay basic sign uh, basic maths simple maths okay so everything is divided into 12 columns so i want to leave one by 12 column space at the left one by 12 column space at the right and what is left is 10 by 12 okay so i hope it is cleared if it is not clear simply type in this thing and click on update okay now as you can see we have small uh, gap at left and right and this is in the center now let me click on update let's come over here let's refresh this page so as you can see we have our text over here now let's add all these members so again come back over here now click on this plus button and search for members m-e-m-b-r-s and select this one bp that is buddy press members grid select this one now what type of member do you want to display active members the popular members online members the new newest members so i'll you can select anything popular whatever you like so i'll select the newest one because i don't have any member right now and how many members do you want to display so as you can see we have one two three four five six twelve members okay and we have six different columns okay uh, in one row six members are displayed so i want to display 12 members and i want six columns okay so select this click on save changes click on update let's come back to this page let's refresh it okay so as you can see because we have only two members right now we can see these two members but as soon as the number increases we'll see all the new members coming now come over here again and we can add some more things so uh, suppose instead of all these things if you want to add some other thing in the home page you can do that let me show you how you can do that you can click on this plus button and let me le let us select activity page okay so let me select activity we have activity stream click on this okay click on save changes click on update come back over here let's refresh this page now as you can see we have the activity stream at the home page we can see all the activities Nayar Sheikh and Nayar Khan are now friends four minutes ago okay we can comment on this we can like this and all those things we can upload our status we can update this status upload few images and so on so if you want you can add this section at the home page it's all up to you but because i have done something different in the demo website and i want to create the same website i will delete this activity stream but i just wanted to show you that you can do these things now click on update okay so let's see what we have over here so we have some widgets shown over here so let me show you how you can add these widgets so if you want to add these widgets what you do is you simply hover appearances and you have this widgets option open this widgets option in a new tab okay as you can see and this is the top option as you can see dashboard is the top option now here there are so many different widgets available so what we have to do we have to drag all these widgets under the dashboard page okay so first widget that we have is featured group okay so let us search for that widget because there are so many different widgets it will be very difficult to search for that so what you can do you can press ctrl f for to find something in the page and you can search for featured okay okay so here we have featured group select this thing make sure dashboard is tick mark and click on add widget okay now we can add the name of the group that we want to make it featured but because we haven't created any group we cannot do that okay so we'll just leave this blank for now after that we have upcoming birthdays okay so let's add this wid uh, widget let me search for birthday here it is thrive birthday widget select this thing and click on add widget okay here it is uh, wh what birthdays do you want to show that come this year or this month or this week so i'll select this year okay and after that we have again featured member 
So again, search for featured over here. So let me type in featured and here you have featured member, thrive featured member, select this, click on add widget. Okay. Now we can enter the username of the member. If you want to see the username, for example, when I go to my profile page, let me show you this. Okay. You have this add the rate and you have this thing. So this is my username. So I can copy it from here and I can come over here and paste in the username, click on save. Okay. So this is uh, what it will do. Okay. Let me save this. This is the featured member. After that we have, let me go back to the dashboard page. After that we have this recent post. We haven't created any post, but what we are doing is we are adding all these widgets. Then uh, after that we'll start creating everything step by step. So let's add this widget recent post. So search for posts and let's see some other results. Okay. We have to select this one gears recent post select this click on add widget. Okay. How many number of posts do you want to show? So five, four, whatever you like. If you want to change the title, you can change this. For example, here it says recent post as you can see. If you want to change this title, you can change it from here. Then after that, we have this polls. So let's search for polls over here. Okay. You can see WP polls, select this, click on add widget. All right. Now after that, the last widget is upcoming events. Okay. So again, search for events. Okay. Let's uh, drag over here. So here we have events list. Select this, click on add widget. Okay. So, uh, with this, we have added all the, uh, widgets. So, so come back to this page. Let's refresh it. Okay. So as you can see, we have all the widgets. Uh, most of them are empty. The group one is empty because we have no group. The birthday one is empty and we have added the featured member. So we can see these things. Now let's do everything step by step. So in the demo website, if you see uh, when a person wants to create a group, they can simply uh, under the group, they can click on this create group link. But here we don't have any link or anything like here and there nothing is present. So how can they create a group? So first we'll have to create this nav bars. Okay. This navigation menus. Okay. After that, we can start adding everything. So let me first create this menu. Okay. This left sidebar menu. This is actually a menu. Okay. So let's create this one. So let me do one thing. Let's let me click on this new secondary menu. Click on this link. Okay. It will redirect you over here. Now you have to give it a name so you can give it any name. So I'm giving it a side menu. Okay. Type any name you want and click on create menu. Okay. So once you have your menu, because this is the secondary menu, make sure you select and tick mark this secondary menu from the bottom. Very, very important. Okay. Select this thing and no need to uh, uh, save now because we haven't added anything. Now, if you see over here, we have dashboard page, activity page, then we have some links. Okay. So here, if you see, we have created the dashboard page, activity page, groups page. So we can add these pages over here. Then after that, we have few links like groups, projects and all those things, but we don't see these links over here. So what you can do, you can go at the top you'll see this option screen options, click on this and tick mark buddy press. Once you do so, you'll get a new option buddy press over here and you have all these options. Okay. Buddy press options. You can tick mark and uh, select these things from here. Okay. So you can add anything that you want to, to the menu. Okay. So we have an, everything in the menu. We can align this according to our uh, wish. So I can drag it up and down, uh, whatever I like it, however, however I like it. I have two activity pages, so I'll cancel one of them. I'll remove one of them. Okay. So this is how it looks. Okay. So once you're done with this, simply click on save menu. Now let's cut this page. Come over here. Let's open this page in a new tab. Let's see how our website looks. Okay. So we have this menu showing at the left hand side. But if you see, we have these beautiful icons with the menu. So let's see how we can do that. So come back over here and select the dashboard. Now click on this add icon and you can select for any icon from here. There are thousands of icons available. You can search for that. So let's search for dashboard. Okay. When you search for dashboard, you'll see this icon. Let's open this. 
Now you can also select different colors for different icons. So select, let's select this color for this icon. And let's click on save menu. Let's come back over here. Let's refresh it. Now as you can see, we have this icon with the menu. So similarly, you can add different icons for different menus. I don't want to waste my time showing the same steps again and again. For a group, you can just let me do one more. For group, you can click, click on the add icon and you can search for any icon that you find suitable for group. So I'm selecting this icon and you can change the color of this one as well. Okay, like this. Click on save menu. Let's come back over here. Let's refresh it. Okay, as you can see, now we have the icon for the group. So similarly, you can do these things. Okay, but if you see over here, we have this link as well. Okay, under the groups, we have this uh, create group link, but we don't see any page or custom link which says create group. Okay, so for that, we'll have to create a different link. When you click on this groups icon, let me see this. When you click on this, you'll see this uh, button over here, create group. Now right click on this button and uh, select this one copy link address now come to your menus and uh, select this custom links from the left hand side and paste that link under the URL first uh, make sure everything is empty and delete whatever is there now paste in that link in the link text type in create group okay now click on add to menu now let's drag this under the groups okay so drag it under group click on save menu Come back to this page. Let's refresh it. Now, as you can see under menu, we have this create menu link. Whenever someone click, clicks on this link, they can uh, see the process of creating a group. Okay, so we'll see this later on. First, let's cre uh, create another menu, which is this one at the top. We have activity profile, notification, messages, groups, all the same options, settings and sign out. So let's see how we can create this menu. So again, come back to menus or what you can do, you can come back to your uh, website. You can click on over here and click on this button at top uh, right bar menu. So click on this. We can get rid of this now. And here you will be redirected to this page. You will see this thing top right bar. Now click on this. Use a new menu. Okay, you can name it anything. So we can just name it top right or anything you want. Now click on create menu. So again, once you do so, make sure this thing is tick mark, top right bar is tick mark over here. And we need to add all these options, activity, profile, notification, and all those things. So you'll find everything under body press, okay? Activity, profiles, groups, all these options under uh, this option, okay? So select everything, click on add to menus. Okay, do it like this. Let me see, okay, just like this. And I think uh, we have one more, which is called, uh, okay, let me see. Groups, friends, notification, projects, forums. And we have settings also. So do we have the settings option here? We have settings also. So select settings also. And we have logout also. So select logout also, because here also we have sign out or logout, whatever you call it. So select all these options. And again, you can do the same steps if you want the act to change the color and the icon, you can do the same thing. You can expand this, click on add icon, select any icon that you like. So let me search for an icon for this one. Let's select this icon. Let's change the color this time to blue. Okay. Now let's click on save menu. Let's open our website in a new tab. So let's do that. Let's open our website and let's click on over here. Now, as you can see, we have all these options and I have set this icon so you can see the icon as well. Okay. So this is how we create this. Now there is one more thing, which is a primary menu. This is not very much necessary, but you can create different pages and you can create a primary menu as well. So same step, simply click on this add primary menu. Now this is the one primary menu, simply click on use new menu. And here you can name it anything primary. So let's name it primary, click on create menu. And whatever you like it, you can, you know, add all those things first. Suppose we want to add these options. So click on add to menu and just make sure primary menu is selected at the bottom. Okay, let's add it. It is taking a lot of time. Okay, we have our menu so here. Let's click on save menu. Okay, let's cut this page and 
not this page. Okay, so let's open our website in a new tab. Let's see how it looks. Okay, so this is how it looks. And now when you click on this, you see your main menu your over here. Okay, so our menu section is done. Now let's see how we can create a group and how a user can create a group and how we can set a feature group. Okay, so I have created this group thing over here. So let's uh, drag this thing and click on create group. All right, now we can name it anything. So I'm naming it new group. You can name it anything and you can add some description about the group. So let me add some dummy text. So go to lipsum.com to get some dummy text. Let's select paragraph, click, uh, click on create, uh, generate dummy text, copy whatever you like and paste it over here. I think it is too much. So let me delete this section. Okay. Click on create group and continue. Now group settings, what? type of privacy do you want? Do you want to make it a public group, a private group or a hidden group? And you can see what a public group is here in a public group. Any site member can join the group. Uh, this group will be listed in the groups directory and anyone can search for this group. Okay, uh, the group content and activity will be visible to any site member. If you want to make it private group, only people who request membership are accepted and can join the group. This group will be listed in the group directory and in search results. So you can select whatever type of group you want to make it. So maybe I want to make it a public group. And after that group invitation, who all can send group invitations. So all, if all the members can send it, you, you can select this. If only the group admin and moderators can do it. So you can select this. If only the group admin can do it, you can tick mark this. So I want all group members to, uh, to be enabled to send group invitations. So select this, click on next step. Okay, whether you want this group to have a forum or not. So yes, we want this to have a forum. So simply tick mark this and click on next step. Now this option allows you or allows the member to create different uh, documents like we create, uh, no, create on Facebook or we create on Microsoft Word and so on. So whether you want to enable documents for this group, so I want to enable it and minimum role to associate docs. So who can associate a doc or create a document? Uh, what? Uh, so you can select this uh, only an admin moderator or a member. So I want member. Uh, if you select member, obviously uh, everything is selected. This is the minimum role. Okay. If you select admin, only the admin will be able to do it. If you select member, anyone will be able to do it. Okay. So select this, click on next step. Now you can change the uh, avatar or the image group image. So let's uh, do that. Let's select a photo. Come back over here. All right. Uh, media. You can see this image. Let's select this image. Click on. Let's crop this image. All right. Click on crop image. Okay. Click on next step. Now we can invite people. So I have only one friend right now, so I can uh, select him to invite it and click on finish. Okay, so he will be invited and he can join the group and so on. Now we can change this style of how the group looks and so on, but we'll do these things later on. Now, because we have enabled forums, we can also create forums. So let us see how we can do that. So click on forum under group. And you can subscribe to the forum. You can create uh, create a new one. So let me create a new one over here. Uh, you can give it a title. So I'm giving a title of WordPress. Okay. And you can type in some uh, description over here. So I maybe this forum is for anyone who has any doubt in WordPress. They can ask their doubt in this forum. So uh, you can type a similar description for this. Okay. Uh, have a doubt. Do you have a doubt about WordPress? So you can type anything. You can uh ask over here okay so you, you can just type anything all right so once you do it you can uh, add some tags so i'm just adding a tag of uh wordpress you can select uh, the type and whether this uh this is open or closed okay when uh, you can also select this notify me of a follow-up replies whenever someone replies to this forum you will get a mail okay so you can select this thing now click on submit Okay, so forum is created as you can see over here. Now 
Uh, this is the forum people can unsubscribe they can post anything in this forum and everything can be done now we have this docs option as you can see people can uh, there are no docs available but you can upload a document you can create a new document when you click on this create new doc you can create a new document okay so as you can see we have a title we have the content whatever the content you like and you can use all these options okay you can insert a poll you can add insert different tables you can change the text color change the text style and all those things so you can give a title type in your document you can uh, add files in this uh, atta as, as attachment if you want then who can access this uh, what is the group that is this document associated with who can access it okay group folder if you want you can make it under uh, existing folder and all those things so this is basically how it is done okay you can all you can see these steps by yourself now let's come back to the home page and because we have created a group now we can select a featured group okay now we can set that group as the featured group first we we can we have to see what is the uh, username or the what is the group name so we can click on groups we'll see all the groups we have only one group at present let's click on this one now here if you see uh, let me show you at the top you will see this thing new group copy this uh, from here go to your home page let's edit this page in a new tab let's get rid of these uh, pages okay let's come over here okay not here I actually we have to go to appearances so how are appearances and click on widgets and this is the featured group select this thing and paste in the name of the group over here that we have copied from the URL bar so paste it over here click on save now come over here let's refresh it now as you can see we see this thing under the featured group so you can say see the activities and members now we have the birthday option now how can we know the birthdays because no one has uh, entered the birthday so first we'll have to enter and add a new profile field i have said you earlier that when you see that register page we can add some more field in the registration page so let's add a new field for date of birth let me show you how you can do that so how our user and no not uh, yeah how our user and uh, let me show you how our user and select this one profile fields click on that now click on add new field and let's give it a name of uh, date of birth and you can uh, type any description so basically the user's uh, birthday will come over here okay okay what was the spelling uh, fine and what type of uh, uh, field is this so this is basically a date field so we'll select this date selector from here and what type of format do you want so in india we select we follow this one day month and year so select this thing and what is the visibility anyone can see this uh, default visi visibility so everyone can see it and we can allow the member to change the visibility from here okay and whether you want to make it required or not required so i'm selecting not required for now let's click on save now let me show you what happens when you save this so let's go back to the incognito window let me sign out from here okay now when i click on sign up uh, over here now as you can see we have a new field date of birth okay they can put in your date of birth and uh, all these things now again let's go back to the normal website and let me go to my profile pic let me go to my profile setting okay here we have we have profile so let's click on profile and uh, click on edit okay now we can edit our date of birth from here so my date of birth is 7th june 94 all right so let me search for 94 here it is now what i'll do is i'll select 7 august so that i uh, just for the sake of displaying over here because june is already passed so it will not display my birthday so i'm selecting august uh, now click on save changes now let's come back to the home page now as you can see it is displaying uh, my birthday is coming next which is august 7 so this is how it works okay guys so now let's see how we can create an event we have some upcoming events showing up over here let's see how we can create an event 
So come back over here to your dashboard. You will see this events at the left hand side. Hover over this and click on add new. Okay, so let's add a new event. So I am typing a title of new event. Okay, you can put in your description over here. So what I'll do is I'll again grab some uh, lorem ipsum text, some dummy text. Okay. And let's copy it from here this much. Let's paste it over here. Okay, so some demo text is shown over here. So this is uh, the title of the event. This is the description. You can add some tags if you want. You can add a category. So let me add a new category and let me call it events uh, and let me give it a name Mumbai. So maybe all these events related to Mumbai. All right, so I added a new category in the tags i can type in mumbai or whatever you like now we can add some different options related to this event so what is the time of the event so maybe it is on sunday which is 22nd uh, right from 8 a.m to 5 p.m which is fine now when you name what is the name of the venue or uh, what is the address and so on so maybe it is at taj hotel uh, in mumbai so i'll type in mumbai everywhere country India state Maharashtra all these things not the phone number some dummy phone number over here all right and this fine now we can add a website so let me add this website over here okay but you want to show the Google map and Google map links yes maybe yes who is the organizer that's me okay phone number I can copy the same phone number from here paste it over here same website copy and paste it over here email address and you can add some more organizers okay and you can add an event website what is the cost if if this event costs something you can put it over here first is currency symbol so you can put dollar or rupee sign so i am putting rupee sign over here and what is the cost maybe 500 or 5000 rupees over here so you can uh, put all these things you can give a featured image so you can add a featured image let's add a featured image let's select a file and let me select this one okay or maybe this one you can select any one let me select this click on open select uh, set featured image and let's click on publish all right so we have created an event and this is basically how events are created so come over here let's refresh this all right now as you can see this event is showing you can open this and you'll see all the details over here okay you can see all the details all the organizer organizer detail the google map and everything can be seen over here so this is how it is created now after this we have a uh, polls let's see how a poll is created so come back again over here and you will see by default one poll is automatically created so first let's search for that here it is at the bottom click on polls and as you can see uh, one poll is automatically created which is how is my website and all those things if you want to create a new one you can simply click on add poll and let's uh, uh, add a new question uh, what can be this maybe all right let me think a stupid question what is uh, all right the capital of india okay really stupid question but all right so uh, we are getting some options first is mumbai and second one is delhi let's add one more option which is chennai and maybe one more which is maybe pune bangalore kolkata you can add anything okay allow users to select more than one option no maximum number of selected answers allowed one what is the start date of this uh, poll and i think we can select also the even uh, end date i guess okay so you can do not you can select this do not expire this or you can select the expiry date to some different date okay so i'm selecting 22nd or maybe just not the expire so click on add poll Again, let's open our website in a new tab. Let's see how it looks. Okay, so we have this poll over here. What is the capital of India? And the answer is Mumbai. No, not Mumbai, it's Delhi. Let's click on vote. 
you can see only one vote by now and 100% people go with Delhi. Okay, so now let's see how a recent post, uh, not recent post, how a post is created. And let's see, by the way, how a post looks like. For example, let's open this post, latest from Apple, Apple Watch Review. Okay, so this is how your post would look like. Okay, you can, this is the featured image, this is the title. We have some uh, content, we can add some videos, images in the post. People can comment on the post and so on. And post can be created only by the website owner or the website admin. Okay, not any member can create a post. All right, so let's see how we can do that. Come back to your dashboard. And from the left hand side, you'll see post, how our post and click on add new. And let's add a new title. So here the title is latest from Apple, Apple Watch Review. Let me add the same title and we can add some content over here. So I'll simply copy and paste this dummy content. You can add some video, for example, you can go to YouTube, you can go to some uh, YouTube, you can add some video links, some audio links, anything you want. So I'm adding this video link. Now suppose I want to add this video. So I'll simply right click over here and click on copy link address. Come over here, I'll paste it over here and this thing will automatically convert into a video, which is awesome. Okay, so I have this video, I can add some more content, I can add some media from here, I can add a form, I can add some polls in this, I can you know do a lot of things. If I want to change the color of the text, I can simply select this portion. These are the basic things we all know this, but uh, okay, so I don't need to uh, explain this in detail. I can select this and change the color. Now, as you can see, the color of this text is changed. Now, if you want, I can add something. Uh, I can link uh, this to something so I can select this portion. I can select this thing, uh, insert link. I can put in the URL. So maybe to google.com. Okay. Now, whenever someone clicks on this text, they will be redirected to Google. So this is how it is done. Okay. Basic things. You all know that. Now we can add a category to this. So maybe this thing uh, belongs to the technology category. So I'm adding technology, click on add new category. You can add some tags like iPhone, Apple, all these tags, okay. And if you want this to display in the full content, you can select this if you don't want to display the sidebar, but we do want to display the sidebar. Like as you can see, we have a sidebar over here. So we do want this sidebar. So we will not select anything from there. Let's change the featured image. We have a featured image which is displayed at the top. So let's select a featured image. Let's upload it. Let's select this one. Click on open. Set featured image. Let's click on publish. All right, let's open this post in a new tab. Let's see how it looks. Okay, so this is how it is looking almost perfect. There are a few changes over here. We have the thing, we have this link, the text color is changed, we have the video. I think it started raining, so I might have to, I think I'll have to pause this video and after the rain stops, I'll have to continue because the sound is going to be terrible if I don't stop. I hope you can hear that in the background, it has started raining and it is raining really hard. I think it's really raining. All right, so I think I have to, I'll have to stop this video for now, but don't worry, you will see the continuation of the video. Whenever the rain stops, I'll continue it. Okay, so see you guys. I hope it stops uh, very soon. If it takes a lot of time, it will be a problem for me. Whatever it is, I'll see you guys later. Okay guys, so after half an hour, it has stopped raining. So let's continue. So we have created the uh, post over here. Now it's time to change the sidebar. We have some default sidebar over here, some really boring ones, and we have to convert them and change them into something like this. We have social media, featured group, recent post and all those things. So let's see how we can do this. So come back to your dashboard, how are our appearances over here? and click on widgets again. Now we have this thing, let me see, we have under sidebar, delete everything under sidebar. Let's delete everything one by one, simply click on it and delete, expand it and delete. Okay, 
the first one that we have to install uh, we have to add is this social uh, uh, widget so we can search for social over here and here it is a uh, gears social media widget select this one and make sure sidebar is selected and click on add widget okay so we have this thing over here now you have to enter all your links so for example uh, i'm for your facebook link i can copy the facebook link of my page so i'll simply copy this link from here i'll paste it over here and what i'll do instead of copying all these things uh, links i'll uh, paste it the same link every time okay so i just want the four links top four links and if i want them to open in a new tab i can simply tick mark over here and click on save now let's come over here let's refresh this page so as you can see all right so this is looking terrible we need one more one okay so we need google plus so let's add this click on save come over here let's refresh it again okay so this is looking better now after this we have the featured group so again come back over here let's search for featured okay here it is thrive featured group select this click on add widget and let's uh, minimize this featured group the name was i guess new group so you can just add this name click on save let's refresh this page again okay so we have our featured group then after that we have recent posts so let's search for posts and let's search for recent post i think uh, let's here it is gears recent post select this thing click on add widget and how many posts do you want to display maybe five so let's select this thing let's click on uh, this refresh page so we can see your post over here your latest post is showing up over here and after that we have upcoming events so again we can go over here and we can type in events okay and you'll see events list so let's search for that one here it is events list select this sidebar click on add widget and let's come over here let's refresh this page now you can see the events list as well so this is how a post is created and how this is how you change the sidebar of your post okay so everything is completed on the home page this is how you you'll uh, your home page will look obviously you'll have to add some more members some more post so that it will look something better now if you see one thing when i click on this uh, user profile this looks totally different and when i click on the demo website this looks beautiful okay so this is looking better so let's change the style of this page uh, this is how it is looking and we have to change this into something like this so it's really easy you can come to this page and click on this member default front page but if you don't see this option you can simply click on customize okay once you click on that you will see this option buddy press uh, new click on this and we have to select this one members front page so select this and untick this thing okay enable default front page for member just in uh, untick this one you'll see uh things have changed a bit now come back over here and select this member navigation and or uh, tick mark this thing display member navigation vertically now click on publish now let me hide these controls now as you can see it is looking exactly like the demo website okay we just need to add this sidebar uh, over here so this is how it looks and again if you want to change the style for groups let us first open a group okay so this is the style of group let me hide this setting so this is how it looks now you can do this similar settings for groups let's come back here it is group front page you can disable this from here okay you'll see all this uh, activity so here again come back and group navigation you can take mark this and display the group navigation vertically okay so you can have the same style for groups if you want so this is looking better i guess all right so once you are done with these two settings you can simply click on publish let's uh, cut this thing now let's change the uh, sidebar of this group and profile so this is the profile page what do you want in the sidebar of profile page so first is we have the friends so uh, friends of this person whatever person you're waving you will see the friends of this person over here at the right hand side so again come to widgets and first let me minimize everything 
okay so here you'll see buddy press profile you'll have to uh, add all those widgets that you want to display over there under buddy press profile okay so let us add the first uh, widget as the friends widget so here uh, here we have buddy press friends let's select this and select buddy press profile and click on add widget okay so number of uh, friends to show maybe five six whatever you can select active friends or newest friends popular friends you can select this thing so i'm uh, saving this let's refresh this page so as you can see at present i have only one friend so that's that's why it is displaying only one now we can add uh, these as well buddy press members uh, or latest activities top views uh, list statistics and who's online so you can select this one as well buddy press profile click on select okay maximum number to show so maybe 15 there are so many different uh, widgets that you can use to display over here you can display the groups widget if you want okay here it is buddy press groups let's add this widget okay let's uh, come over here let's refresh it so at present only one person is online that is me no one else is online this is the groups you can it will display all the groups so you can add any widget that you want on any page okay so this was for the profile when you go to the group let's select this group you can select different widget for this group as well but i don't think you should do that because it is already looking good then we have some more uh, widgets for more pages for example for buddy press main page and for archive page uh, and for uh, footer option we can do it over here buddy press members home buddy press groups home for example when you click on these groups okay you have a different uh, thing over here okay not here this is our demo website click on groups okay you don't have anything in the sidebar so if you want to add something in the sidebar for this groups home page you can add it under over here when you see the members page let's click on members over here here we have let's see the members we i think uh, we haven't added the members i guess here it is members so he, this is the members page we don't have any sidebar again but if you want to display some sidebar in the members page you can uh, add those sidebar over here under the buddy press members home okay uh, and this is the single group when you select the single group if you want some sidebar you can have it over here so you can have all those different options you know how to do it we have done for two pages for what uh, for dashboard and for buddy press profile so you know how to do that okay now let me show you how we can integrate this chat option so that user can chat with each other we don't have this option over here so let's come back over here and we for this we have to add a new plugin so what i'll do is i'll hover over plugins and here it is plugins hover plugins and click on add new and here you have to search for wise chat w i s e c h a t select this one wise chat click on install now all right so we have installed and activated it now if you see under settings let's hover our settings you will see one new option wise chat settings click on that okay so this is the option that you will see now first of all we have to disable anonymous users if the person have not uh, registered to our website we don't want to enable them to come and start chatting so we have to disable them okay so once you do so come at the bottom and click on save changes now you can change the there's so many different options but i don't want to go over uh, all those things because this will require another half an hour one hour for this because this is a very detailed a plugin so if you want to change the appearances you can change the appearance uh, uh you can change the style by default it is airflow first let's refresh and see the how it looks okay so as you can see this is your uh, thing over here your cha chat bot okay you can start chatting with your friends with anyone who is online okay so this is how this chat option is done now there are few things left first let's go to the home page for example how to change the logo how to change this uh, bottom footer thing and all so let's see how we can do that so click on customize at the top okay so as you can see now it says a plugin is required to take advantage of this themes feature in the customizer so simply click on install now button 
and it will install this this plugin Kirky 3.0 or whatever it is now click on activate plugin okay so once you install and activate it you you again have to go to customizer you can also go to this customizer from here you can have over appearances and click on customize okay guys now you'll see one new option over here thrive customization so let's open this first of all how do you want the layout of the website to be so you have two options one column and two columns so by default we have two column one this is the sidebar and then we have the main content if you want you can select the one column style and it will display only the content and that thing will be disabled as you can see you can hide control to see how your website looks okay so you have both the option but i'll select two columns you can change the background color instead of white if you want some different background color if you want to add a image in the background you can do that as well now when we come back we have the logo settings this is the logo that is automatically present if you want you can remove this and you can upload your own logo as you can see when i remove this that is gone but i don't want to do that so i'll click on default and that logo will be back you can also change the size of the logo from here you can change the background color and so on now we can click on back we can change the typography of the uh, website okay so all this uh, font style whatever it is used throughout the website we can change it from here uh, by default roboto is uh, uh, accepted or uh, over here we if you want instead of roboto if you want some different font for example if you want railway or monseret you can select those fonts as well then we have general colors by default the two main colors are these primary color blue color and this purple color so you can change this color from here then after that we have header styling if you want to change the style of the header for example it's all blue instead of blue if you want it to maybe red as you can see we have the red header now so you can have these settings as well header style 1 header style 2 when you select header style 2 you will see uh, something like this now you have this option i don't see any okay so instead of that menu a hamburger icon you have this menu displayed over here so you can have this thing okay now we don't have this search uh, so i don't like this one i want the header style one because we want the search bar over here okay just like this now you can also change the font of the header and uh, sign up button gradient uh, you can change all these things okay if uh, by default if you, you might have seen the sign up button color was green if you want you, you can make it some different color then when, when you come back we have widget styling uh, widget uh, this is the title background if you want title background of widget also red you can set this to red as well okay it's 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 all up to you then title color if you want uh, instead of white if you want some different color you can set that as well then we have side navigation which is this so whether you want to show or do not show uh, if you want you can display some message over here and when the person is logged out this is the image displayed if you remember if you want you can remove this image or you can change this image now when we come uh, back we have single post uh, registration page when you select registration page what is the logo size you want uh, do you want to disable the header and footer uh, in the uh, in the registration page so you can have these options as well then we have the footer copyright so we have to change this from here so instead of your website name uh, put in your website name so i am putting nayash shake obviously this is not my website name but i am just putting my name over here instead of 2015 i am putting 2018 so you can do this thing we can come back social connect you can add you can disable first of all and you can uh, add these things okay so this will enable login with facebook and login with google and so on if you want you can enable it if you want you can simply disable it okay then we have custom css you can add your custom css codes over here now i don't want to do that i simply want to click on publish and let's cut this thing so you'll have your website now all red let's go to our website and you'll see that this thing is also changed okay your copyright text is changed okay guys so with this we have completed this tutorial on social networking or a community website i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial i hope you guys learned something new okay if you find uh, this video helpful then make sure you subscribe to my channel and also click on that bell icon so that you don't miss any future videos 
If you like this video, if this video has helped you, you can give a thumbs up to this video, share this with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, wherever you like. If you have any doubt, any queries, any suggestions for me, if you want me to create a website on, speci uh, on specific topic or so on, you can leave your comments in the comment section below. I would really like to read those comments. Okay, if you have any doubt, if you're facing some problem somewhere, in the tutorial when you do something and if you if you're not able to do that whatever problem you're facing you can simply you know let me know all those things in the comment section below okay so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial so see you guys in the next tutorial till then take care